All right, welcome back everybody. So today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own custom audio presets and templates within DaVinci Resolve to save you some time on your video editing projects. Without further ado, let's get right into this. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is just drag and drop our video clip into the media pool and then drop that into the timeline. From there, we're just going to go right into Fairlight. And now, as you can see over here on the right side, I currently don't have any effects applied, but I already use a whole lot of presets. So to get to those, I just go under the Fairlight tab, go to the preset library, and then we just have to scroll down here to the global track presets, and you can see the ones that I typically use on a day-to-day -day basis. So if I wanted to apply any of those, I just have to click on the one that I want to use, and then apply it to the track that I want. If you have multiple tracks, it'll lay all of them out here for you, and then just hit apply. And as you can see now, we have four different effects applied to our tracks. So if I wanted to just open any of them up and see what's applied, I just have to click on that uh, slider looking icon right there and it'll open all of it up. But now let's say we wanted to create our own. Let's say you've added all of the effects that you want on this particular track and let's say it's a vocal track like what I typically use these for and you wanted to save it yourself. Well, that's pretty easy to do as well. All you have to do is go back to that Fairlight tab, preset library, and then just click on the audio track that you want and hit save new. From there, I'm going to call this one test track, just so that we can see what's happening here. And I'm going to quickly close it down and get rid of every plugin on this track, just so you can see that it is actually going to work. So from there, I'll open it back up, click on test track, apply to the track, and there we go. All of our effects are back on that track. And it's that easy. Every time you wanted to create a new vocal track, let's say I wanted to add this on here as well. Add that on here as well. And then if I wanted to go back and save that again, I just have to go save a new one. And I can even just update it with that. So if I apply these, then go back to this one, you can see the additional effects are all there. All right, and there we have it. It's that easy to create your own audio presets. And if this video was helpful at all, let me know in the comment section below, as well as letting me know what you'd like to see in future episodes. I wanna create content that you wanna see, so let me know what it is that you wanna see. And if this did help you at all, leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel just so you don't miss out on any future content. And until next time, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye now.